that's a lot of film. So, uh, in North Texas, they got four all-conference players on defense: two corners, the middle linebacker, and their their stud end. They call it their, their boundary end. Uh, you know, very well coached, very sound. Not not overly complicated, but they they know you know they know what they're doing. They know how to how to how to they know how they're going to get attacked. You know, they, they don't do a whole lot of different stuff. Uh, seems like a lot of teams in that league attack them in similar ways, and they they know how they're going to get attacked, and they know their answers for it. So uh, they they've given up a lot of points, but that in that league they score a lot of points in that league. So, Seen some really good quarterbacks, like teams I don't normally watch on tape, but uh, some good offenses in that league for sure. You had to watch, watch a lot of your own film too, I suspect. And, but what is that something you can do in a short amount of time too, to, you know, in terms of the self scouting and stuff like that? Well, we we've been keeping up with that as we go along, and uh, you know the players were off most of the last week, so you know it's not like it's not like you're going to revamp your whole offense in one week that you're. You know, because we had a couple of practices over the weekend, and then we're going to get back into it hard tomorrow. You're down there at the bowl game. You know, guys are going to guys are going to be having their activities on the side. So, you know, I don't think it'll be too much different. What's your priority for for in terms of getting your hands on Taylor Green for these last ten days and, and making him better? And and your last final say, what what do you want to leave him with over these last ten days in terms of his development? A win. <laughs> I want to leave him with a win. And, you know, Talon has, has uh, progressed so far so fast. And, uh, you know, we as an offense just didn't have our best outing in the championship game. Unfortunate uh, that we didn't, we didn't play our best on that, on that game, on that day. But, you know, just uh, would love to leave Talon with uh, something to build on going into next year. Again, the guy. The sky's the limit. Uh, he's finishing his last final as we speak, right? In 10 minutes here, he's got his <laughs> econ final, and he'll have school behind him for, for this semester. And, uh, you know, just, just continuing to build. I mean, after the season's over, I'll, I'll give him some things that I think he needs to work on in, uh, in the off season. But at that point, that's just my opinion. That's, that's somebody else's. You mentioned the somebody else's, like, um, Will there be any, I mean, do you have any input or talk with Andy about, you know, offensive coordinator candidates or, you know, I mean, I'm sure you know a million different people in the business. Yeah, those are, those are all questions for Andy. Like yes. I, I'm just worried about finishing up this season the right way, and those are all questions you have to talk to Andy about. What does this week mean for you personally? I mean, it could be your last week. I'm assuming you're not coming back again. Um, you know, <laughs> you, you're a reflective guy. So, what does this week mean to you? Yeah, but I don't, I don't reflect until after the fact. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've already said my goodbyes to football once and was was happy was happy without it. And uh, you know, it's somebody somebody else's time. But I've, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed spending time around these players and these coaches. You know, this is just try to close it out the right way. Andy said you guys are going to the star practice. Um, I mean, you were Dan Quinn's OC for a couple of years. You know, head coach of the Falcons, so you get to bump into some old friends. Mm -hmm. well, what's that going to be like? You know so well the NFL to get Talon and your offense to kind of get under that umbrella, even for a couple of days. Is that a special deal, Dirk? I think it'll be awesome for the players. Like when. I just found that out a day or two ago that we were going to be practicing at the star for those two days. I think for the, the players, the young guys in this program, I think that will be awesome because, I mean, all the all, uh, great things we have here, but to see what it's like in an NFL uh, practice facility, and uh, I think I think that's a great experience just on top of the whole bowl thing. I think that's just a really, really cool added throw in that these guys get. Were you? Were you Introduce Talon and Kellen. Will, you, will they get together and spend some time together? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll have to see how that shakes out. I know on one of the days we maybe uh, Wednesday we have to be out by a certain time because they're coming in. I would I would imagine between the, the Boise State connection and the Dan Quinn, Robert Prince, all those guys. I would imagine uh, you know I know those guys are busy and coming off a crazy win yesterday. But if uh, I think that'd be cool if we got a chance to got a chance to spend some time with them, that'd be great. Hi, have a good one. Thanks.